Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. At the end of this video, learners are expected to differentiate extinct, endemic, and endangered species, explain the causes of species extinction, and explain the five different mass extinction. Let's begin by differentiating endemic, endangered, and extinct species from one another. Endemic species are those plants and animals that exist only in one geographical region. Species can be endemic to large or small areas of the world. Some may be endemic to the particular continent, some are endemic to a part of a continent, and others to a single island. So let's give some examples of endemic species in the Philippines. First in our list is the Tamarau of Mindoro, Tarshir of Bohol, Pikak Pisat of Palawan, Mouse Deer or Pilandok of Balabak Island south of Palawan, The Giant Scalps out of Marinduque, The Coxpita or the Liaco of the Northern Luzon, and the famous Philippine Eagle or the Monkey Eating Eagle from the Highland Forest of Mindanao. The Eastern Saros Strait of Nueva Ecija and Cagayan, Rufus Hornbill or Dulungan from the island of Negros and Panay. We also have the Philippine Cockatoo wherein we can only see this here in the Philippines. And Dugong from Batangas, Leyte, Negros and Catanduanes. And the Flesha Shandenbergiana of Bukidnon. Aside from the examples given, can you give other example of endemic species in the Philippines by writing your answers in the comment section below? Endangered species are plants and animals that is very likely to become extinct in the near future. Can you think of some species that are endangered in the Philippines? While extinct species occurs when there are no more individual of that species alive anywhere in the world. Can you give some species that are already extinct? What is species extinction? It is the irreversible loss of species and it occurs when last representative of species died. According to the National Geographic, extinction happens when environmental factors or evolutionary problems cause a species to die out. The disappearance of species from Earth is ongoing and rates have varied over time. A quarter of mammals is at risk of extinction according to International Union for Conservation of Nature or IUCN. To some extent, they conclude that extinction is natural, but later on, in the latter part of this video, we will also discover that we humans also contribute in the extinction of these animals. So let's discuss the different causes of species extinction. We have the natural and anthropogenic causes of species extinction. Natural causes of species extinction occurs when species are diminished because of environmental forces just like global cooling and warming, resulting from human emissions of greenhouse gases. The consequences include habitat loss, shifts in climatic conditions, and in habitats that serve as migrational capabilities and altered competitive relationships between species. Next is major glaciation or ice ages fluctuations in sea level, volcanic eruption, asteroid comet or meteor impact, the asteroid crash, what we call the Cretaceous Paleogene or KPG mass extinction, wherein it killed species around the world, three quarters of the animals in the ocean and all of the dinosaurs apart from birds died in this mass extinction, lastly is by gamma radiation and diseases. While anthropogenic factors constitute the primary deterministic causes of species declines, endangerment, and extinction, they are extinctions abetted by human activities that directly and indirectly affect different species, just like illegal logging, forest fires, land development that destroy the habitat of different species, overexploitation, hunting, and pollution from different factories that contaminates land, air, and water that kills different species from toxic waste or chemicals. There are five major mass extinction that usually defined as a loss of about three quarters of all species in existence across the entire Earth over a short geological period of time. 
there are five major mass extinctions that happened millions of years ago. The first one is the Ordovician Silurian extinction that happened 440 million years ago, the Devonian extinction that happened 365 million years ago, the Permian Triassic extinction happened 250 million years ago, the Triassic Jurassic extinction that happened 210 million years ago, and the Cretaceous Tertiary extinction that happened 65 million years ago. Around 440 million years ago, 85% of all species on Earth went extinct in the Ordovician Silurian extinction. The extinction was is most likely a result of global cooling and reduced sea levels, which dramatically impacted many marine species living in warm and shallow coastal waters. It is also considered as the third largest mass extinction. A variety of causes have been proposed for the Devonian mass extinction. These include asteroid impacts, global anoxia or the widespread dissolved oxygen shortages, plate tectonics, sea level changes, and climatic change. Though it may have been a series of extinctions over several million years, the likely culprit was the newly evolved land plants that emerged covering the planet during the Devonian period. Their deep roots stirred up the earth, releasing nutrients into the ocean. This might have triggered algal blooms which suck oxygen out of the water, suffocating bottom dwellers like the trilobites. The Permian period or the Great Dying is associated with the warming of the Earth's climate that affects ocean temperature. At the end of the Permian period, volcanic activity on a massive scale in what is now Siberia led to a huge outpouring of lava that killed off more than 96% of the planet's marine species and 70% of its terrestrial life. That's why it is considered as the worst extinction among the five major mass extinctions. The cause of the end Triassic extinction is a matter of considerable debate. Many scientists contend that this event was caused by climate change and rising sea levels resulting from the sudden release of large amount of carbon dioxide that resulted in the demise of some 76% of all marine and terrestrial species and about 20% of all taxonomic families. At the end of the Cretaceous period, KP or KT mass extinction, 65 million years ago, an asteroid hit Earth in Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, forming what is today called the Chicxulub Impact Crater. Whatever its cause, this extinction event marks the end of the Cretaceous period and of the Mesozoic Era. Are we facing the sixth mass extinction? Many scientists argue that we are either entering or in the midst of the sixth great mass extinction. Intense human pressure, both direct and indirect, is having profound effects on natural environments. The study states that this mass extinction differs from previous ones because it is entirely driven by human activity through changes in land use, climate, pollution, hunting, fishing, and poaching. The effects of the loss of these large predators can be seen in the oceans and on land. So, what should we do then? Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe by clicking the notification bell for more science educational videos.